This is the one I've been Radio waiting for. Radio Raheem with Andrew Schultz. From the mud. Got it from the mud. Did it all himself. Radio Raheem, the legend. Let's go. Man, I'm, I'm honored. Would... This is an honor to be here. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to talk to Andrew Schultz, especially, I didn't even expect to see you. You popped up right before the co-main. I'm so for your success, bro. I, Yo. I'm really hyped. I'm really fucking hyped. Yo. Okay, go, go, okay, go, go. Okay, okay, okay. First, we yeah, saw yeah. Dylan Dennis and yeah. Logan Paul kind of like eclipse the real main event because everybody just couldn't wait bit. to see what's going to happen. Yeah, we were charged up. Were, were, you, were you disappointed? I mean, I'll be honest. I thought that was going to happen. I thought Logan was going to win decision. Mm. I mean, Dylan said he's like, there's no way he knocks me out. Though in the second, it looked like he got wobbled. But uh, yeah, the guy's resilient. And, and man, it was fun. And he just kept coming forward. It was crazy. He kept coming forward, but he wasn't really throwing punches. And Nothing. then it seemed like he was looking for a way out. I, I don't know if he was looking for a way out. He was looking for that big loop in right, I guess it is. And uh, But yeah, I mean, like Logan boxed well and... Bro, you want, I guess if you're a Logan fan, you want the knockout. Right. And I guess if you're a Dylan fan, I don't know what you're, are you hoping for one punch puts him down? I don't know. Like, I think the, I think the Dylan fan is hoping for him to go six rounds. Well, when he gets him in the guillotine, what do you like, gets on his back? In if the he didn't do it, I'm upset. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. We're here for some mixed martial arts, right? And then you got the, uh, what is it? And then Tommy KSI, which right. had way more jujitsu. I don't think we've talked about that enough. Right? You saw high-level grappling. High-level jujitsu in the Tommy Fury KSI fight. Who'd you have winning? Uh, I actually had Tommy winning because okay. KSI did so much wrestling. Yeah, yeah. And even with the point deduction, which I don't know that that was fair, but maybe I could see the holding and hitting was a thing. But I would have right. taken a point for all the holding. Okay, question. Uh, so KSI has that like long, like Michael Venom Page kind of, I don't know, he's like really... The stance is just awkward. It's crazy. What do you do? Is that think, is that long jab? Are you trying to step in and short right? I think you have to keep pressure on him, like real boxing pressure, make him work. Oh, come inside of it. Yeah, and make him actually make that footwork work because he was going all awkward. Yeah. I don't think Tommy was able to figure out what nope. to do. Yeah. He is fast. He, like, you know, no, I seen him. him. He and missed a big uppercut that I think might have slowed up yeah, Tommy yeah, if it yeah, would have yeah, landed. Yeah, 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 so it's not crazy. like KSI wasn't dangerous. Yeah. I just think it took a Tommy a while to figure him out. And every time Tommy got going, to KSI's credit, he was smart, tied him up, tied him up kept yeah. it, and, and the ref wasn't stopping that. So uh, I do think the Tommy win was fair, but yeah. I thought the fight was like uglier than it needed to be. Like, yeah. I, I wanted to see KSI mix it up more. Yeah, because you want to see something set up for that JKSI fight, right? <laughs> yeah. Is that next or what? Uh, I know you got the inside track. Listen, it has to be. They, 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 Tommy is the final boss. Right? Neither He's the final YouTube the boss. Yeah. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> they both fall into the final boss. Now it has to be an eliminator. Who gets to go back to the golden trophy? Like this That's guy, it, it, really, he's the, he's like the crossover killer is yeah. what I'm calling it. Yeah. Like, they have to fight each other now. It's like the only big, big, big of this magnitude fight that can happen. Now, do you do it here crossover. or do you do it in America? You got to do it here. I mean, they hate Jake so much here. And they love KSI so much. I don't know. I don't know if America cares that much about, about KSI. Jake, but about Jake, do they care enough? Yes. Yeah. But here it's both sides. Like there's enough hate yeah. and enough love here. I think there's enough love in yeah. America for Jake, but not enough hate for KSI. Yeah, yeah. I hear you that. know what I, I mean? Hear that. Yeah, I hear that. Okay, yeah. before I let you go, yes. because you're out here yeah. ripping stages too, packing. We're doing good. We're doing yeah, good. You're doing the European thing. Where are we gonna see you next? Uh on stage. I got a couple shows here tomorrow. And then we're going to Amsterdam, and then we're going to London, and then we're going to Abu Dhabi. Am I going to no, see you in Abu Dhabi? No. We have to talk about that. I absolutely want to come to Abu Dhabi. You're in Saudi, right? I'm in Saudi the next weekend, so I got to make a I got to make a hitch pit move, stop. a pit, pit stop. stop. I'm going to see you in London. I'm trying to take the train to Amsterdam because I know that's a time. Done. Done. My Done. man. Lock it in. Radio. If my voice is gone by London, it's his fault. Radio Rahim. <laughs> I'll be stepping in. Radio Rahim with Andrew Peace. Schultz. Peace.